Shut up and sit down. Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott here. Today we're back in 76 and I wanted to put together a little uh, video about some of the unique outfits that I've been able to collect and find throughout my play so far in 76. I know there are a lot more unique outfits uh, in this game, kind of like in Fallout 4. There was a lot of really good outfits, but they're a little more difficult to find in, in uh, Fallout 76. So I was able to find about four or five of them and I wanted to share them with you. Uh, I'll show you what they look like and where you can get them. So let's get that started. And first we'll start off with the excavator power armor. I really love the look of this new power armor and to get it, you want to come down to Garahan mining headquarters. I'll show you where that is on the map. Uh, it's down toward the South reason in the ash heap. Uh, you can see here, there's Mount Blair. Uh, Vault 76 is up here, so you want to come down to the south end of the map, right down here by the Vault Boy, and this is where Garahan Mining Headquarters is. This is a cool area, and when you get here, you do want to be careful, because there are some enemies. I mean, I, I've been here a couple times. There's Scorch sometimes, Liberator sometimes, Super Mutant sometimes. Sometimes they are high level, and you want to go in the front door, or go in the door, and then follow my path here, downstairs into this room. Now, there are enemies all over, so you do want to be careful. And this is a great place for loot. There was a lot of really good stuff around here, Not a, you know, all, besides just the plants for the power armor. Now, I'm not sure if there, you can find the excavator power armor anywhere in the game, but right here is where you can find the plans to build it. Uh, so you want to clear out all of these enemies there are a few power stations down here, uh, power armor stations. So if you've got some already on, you can repair them down here. Or if you've got the resources to get the, to uh, build this excavator power armor. But you want to come over here to the project manager's terminal. And in the terminal is where you will get the blueprints for the excavator power armor. Now, you do have to have a lot of resources. Find a lot of springs. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> But there's power armor stations in here, too, if you've got the resources to build it. Now, next, I'll show you where you can find the Halloween costume, the skeleton costume, and the Halloween mask, along with the witch's hat and the ranger outfit, the hat, ranger hat and the outfit. I found these both of those outfits in the same spot, so I'll show you where they are on the map. So to get the costume, you want to come up here to the North Lookout Tower. I'll show you where it is on the map, kind of up in the northeast. Uh, Palace of the Winding Path is right there. There's Vault 76 right there. Gives you an idea of where it's at. So once you get here, there really isn't any enemies. I haven't run into any. But you want to get up to the top of the tower. You'll know you're in the right place because it's all decorated out for Halloween. And when you get up to the top, turn, and in between the sleeping bags is the skeleton costume. And you want to pick that up. And then if you turn around on the table, there you will find the witch's hat and the ranger hat. And then underneath the table is where you will find the ranger outfit. So that's pretty cool. Now to get the skeleton mask, you want to come over to the pumpkin house. And you do want to be careful because there are a lot of enemies. There's scorch beast running around. I've run into death claws. But you come over here, I'll show you where it is on the map. It's those pumpkins that are on the map. Uh, there's a quest, too, if you want to do it. But you come up on the porch, and there's a skeleton in a wheelchair, and he'll have the mask. He'll be wearing it. You can take it from there. What the skeleton outfit looks like and what the ranger outfit looks like. I'll be showing you where you can find a, the ritual bindings. You want to come over to the Mothman Museum and down in the basement, which you ought to come and check it out because it's creepy as hell. But I know you can find it in other places. This is where I found the outfit that I have. But down in the basement, there's some kind of temple, uh, church to the Mothman. And around in this room here, you loot around because there's lots of good loot in here too. But over here on the other side of the room, as soon as I get there and quit picking everything up, 
but there's like I said, there's a lot of good loot around, and you want to check it out because there's lots of good stuff. There's a safe. That's a good thing. But next to the wheelchair there, you'll find the ritual bindings. Next, I'll show you where you can find the golf outfit. Now, I did We did find the male and female version at the White Springs Golf Club. Uh, it's just a random outfit. It's just here on the map where you can find White Springs Resort. It's right down here. There's the resort. There's the golf club right next to it. Uh, there are a lot of feral ghouls down here. I ran into a Grafton monster here and a Wendigo, so come down prepared for a fight. A bunch of outfits are random. Uh, you can just find them anywhere. I found the baseball uniform. I, you can do the mission, the responders mission. That's the responders outfit. The ski outfit, ski hats up at the sunny top ski lanes. The clown outfit, that's just funny. That's just random. You can just find that anywhere. And then talk about more glitches in this game. Uh, me and my partner were running around, and all of a sudden, he's moonwalking everywhere. And I thought it was hilarious, so I decided to record it a little bit, him sliding around. That's pretty funny. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. I appreciate it that so much. Uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave a comment below. If you want, follow me on Twitter at, at sbrew42. And as always, guys, have a good one, and thank you for watching.